just three days. How much of that trip truly was autonomous driving? So the, the vast majority was autonomous. So what we, we drove from California all the way to, to Pennsylvania. Uh, and so there are, there are federal rules around rest breaks and, and, and so on in terms of cruise shifts. So all of our trucks are staffed with both a safety driver as well as an operations specialist that rides co-pilot. Uh, and so we had to follow all the federal rules for that. Mm -hmm. But uh, so aside from things like those crew changes and so on, or there were certain segments, like there was some road construction that the Pennsylvania DOT asked us to drive through in manual. Mm. Uh, aside from that, it was mostly autonomous. What are companies like Land Lakes, for example, telling you about the cost savings? So I think people are, are really excited and interested in this technology. Uh, and so, as you know, there'll be some time before, before this technology is fully released as a product. Um, but there are, will be tremendous benefits, both in terms of safety and cost savings from this type of technology. And so that's what we were kind of setting out to, to, to demonstrate in this run. So operating basically around the clock for three days going you know, up through the Rockies and the Great Plains and across the country, demonstrating the overall reliability and safety and, and general maturity that this technology is achieving. What's your relationship like with policymakers? You mentioned working with the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation. How do you ensure that you're working with them, but also getting responsible and perhaps federal regulation around this technology? Yeah, so we try to be very proactive in terms of working with the different regulators. Uh, so earlier this year, we reached out to the state DOTs in all lower 48 states. We also just a couple of months ago announced a partnership with the Minnesota DOT around, around testing. Uh, and so we aim to be very uh, proactive. And what we find is actually quite encouraging that from a regulator standpoint, there's a lot of interest in supporting this technology, again, because of the safety. Uh, this technology has tremendous potential in terms of delivering safety benefits on the road. 